Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope we'll all stay with us today, uh, nannies and grandmas and, and mommies and daddies, and um, our caregivers who are so important in our learning and uh, support the program and pick up some tips maybe of um, what is important and how you can help your child. So here we go, and drown me out, that's important. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Well, we've had a very special day. Mommy day, right? Mama's day, yeah, Mother's day. And did you know that grandmothers are mothers too? Absolutely. So we have a special, special day. Yes, we do. So here we go. This is about a little girl who has a, what, what is this? The caterpillar, right? Right, he inches along like that. Someday I'll learn that song. Inchworm, inchworm, measuring, right. But this time it's little Arabella Miller. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. They said, little Arabella Miller, take away your caterpillar. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. Next it crawled upon big brother, <laughs> then upon her dear grandmother. Gran said, Little Arabella Miller, how I love your caterpillar. Very special, yeah. Grandmas are special too. I had a grandma, in fact, I had two grandmas and they were very special. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother and then across her baby brother. Then they said, what? Little Arabella Miller, take away your caterpillar. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. Next it crawled upon Big Brother, then upon her dear grandmother. Grand said, Little Arabella Miller, how I love your caterpillar. Oh, what a silly song. <clears throat> well, I see a barn and most people that have barns are farmers right or they take care of horses or have a horse farm of some kind but he's a farmer <clears throat> and there he is he's in sort of a little hollow there in the dell oh the farmer and this is sort of a dancing game but it's kind of fun to see who will come next see if you can guess who's going to come next <clears throat> oh the farmer in the dell the farmer in the dell Hi ho the dairy oh the farmer in the dell the farmer takes a wife the farmer takes a wife hi ho the dairy oh the farmer takes the wife and the wife takes the child the wife takes the child hi ho the dairy oh the wife takes the child and the child takes the nurse the child takes the nurse hi ho the dairy oh the child takes the nurse and the nurse takes the dog, the nurse takes the dog, whoops. Hi ho the dairy o, the nurse takes the dog and the dog takes the cat, the dog takes the cat. Hi ho the dairy o, the dog takes the cat and the cat takes the rat, the cat takes the rat. Hi ho the dairy o, the cat takes the rat and the rat takes the cheese, the rat takes the cheese. Hi ho the dairy o, the rat takes the cheese. Oh no, smelly cheese. Oh, pew, 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 oh. The rat runs away, the rat runs away. Hi ho the dairy o, the rat runs away. And the cat runs away, the cat runs away. Hi ho the dairy o, the cat runs away. And the dog runs away, the dog runs away. Hi ho the dairy oh the dog runs away and the nurse wah, runs away the nurse runs away hi ho the dairy oh the nurse runs away and the child runs away 
the child runs away. Hi ho, the dairy ho, oh, the child runs away, and the wife runs away. The wife runs away. Hi ho, the dairy ho, oh, the wife runs away, and the farmer runs away. The farmer runs away. Hi ho, the dairy ho, oh, the farmer runs away, and the cheese stands alone. The cheese stands alone. Hi ho, the dairy ho, oh, the cheese stands alone. Mm, I love smelly cheese. Ah, oh, so delicious. <gasps> mm. What a bite. Mm. It's almost like as if a skunk were around the barn, huh? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what they smell like. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got here. <clears throat> well, we have Wizzy Wizard, and he's he's come to tell us a tip for the caregivers. So the tip of the week is you can help your child see the relationship between the written and the spoken word <clears throat> uh, by using what is called environmental uh, print. Words that are part of everyday life like signs and labels and you can point out those words as you say them to your children uh, and uh, as, you, as you read them. And this is part of print awareness very important for children to know the connection. <clears throat> so here we go. <clears throat> My first book is a Mother's Day book. Yeah, I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. Do you have a nice Mother's Day? I hope so. And this is by Tim Warnes, Mommy Mine. Well, I had a mother, I had a grandmother, but little animals have mothers too, right? Sure they do. Mommy Mine. <clears throat> <clears throat> What is that? That's a kangaroo and he's about to crawl into his mother's pouch. Yes, mama kangaroos have a little pouch, a little sack that they can carry their babies in, just like a little car seat. Mommy huge. Oh, what a big mommy, right? Mommy hairy, what a hairy spider. <laughs> Mommy spiny. You all those sharp spines. Mommy scary. There are babies coming out of the eggs. They're not afraid. Mommy flutter. Butterflies flutter. Ha. Mommy chatter. Mommy tiny. Pitter patter. Mommy loud. Mommy stomp. Oh, that's a big one. Mommy munch. Oh, Miss Mommy's tall, right? And Mommy chomp. And that tiger is chomping on what? A big bone. Chomp. Oh, mommy full, mommy grubby. Oh, she loves to ride in the mud there. Let me lay down on the mud and ride. Ah, uh, mommy croak, mommy chubby. That little frog mommy is chubby, right? Mommy jump, mommy funny. That monkey carries his baby on his back. Oh, this bear got into the honey. <laughs> oh, wicky sticky, mommy. <laughs> honey. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, they're having such a good time. I know, does that taste good? But those bees, they get to his nose. Uh-oh. Woo, now we're in the, in the ice here. Mommy snoozing. Mommy lazy. Look at that seal. The harp seal, the little baby harp seal. Oh, <laughs> what is the pendant doing? Whoop, mommy clumsy, whoopsie daisy. Down she goes on the ice. Splashes into the sea. Mommy noisy. <laughs> oh, mommy nosy. Look at those long noses on the anteater. Ah, oh, mommy carry. 
mommy cozy, right? There's the baby in the little pouch, in his little, in his little car seat. <clears throat> mommy cuddle on the vine. Mommy kisses. Yeah, they kiss just like we do. Mommy mine. Right, we all have different mommies. Look at that, but they're all just precious, right? They're all precious to our children and to others that are in their family. Well, I see something up in my sky here. Do you see this? Is that a rainbow? Huh? It is a rainbow. <clears throat> and last week we were talking about a caterpillar who ate through a lot of fruit. And that fruit could have been a rainbow too. So let's see if we can make a rainbow out of our fruit, shall we? Do you know the colors of the rainbow? Purple, blue, and green, blue, green yellow, orange, and red at the end. Ooh, there's the apples. There we go. So is that a rainbow? Yes, it is. Do you know the colors of the rainbow? Purple, blue, and green, my friend. Yellow, orange, and red at the end. Yeah, rainbows are up in the sky after it rains, and it's still, the uh, sun is shining, and it's still raining somewhere else. Yeah. And the sun, the sun makes them shine, right? Well, what else is sort of like a rainbow? Well, our flowers, oh my goodness, all those beautiful tulips downtown, they are gorgeous. And here's Mary working very hard. And what did she plant? She planted all kinds of flowers. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. And those pretty maids are what? The border along here, right? What, how does she get her garden to grow? Well, she's watering it. I don't see any weeds. So she must have worked hard getting all those weeds out, right? Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. <clears throat> well, I have a book today. And in that book is a bear. Can I see the bear up there? Do you see the bear up there on the, <clears throat> no, you don't, let's see. There, he's going up the mountain, right? But in my book, there's a fox. Uh-oh. And a wolf. Uh-oh. And a bunny. Uh-oh. And then, owl. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that little bunny. That little bunny looks pretty yummy to all those creatures. Oh my goodness, I hope she's okay. Well, let's see. Let's see what goes on here. The Bear Went Over the Mountain by Jane Cabrera. She has great, great books for little kids. Yes, she does. Ah, I see some lovely artwork there. Like you're sitting inside a garden, pretending you're a little bug, you're a little bug looking at this. And there's that bear. He doesn't look terribly fierce, does he? No, it's a, it's a different kind of story, I think. The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see, <gasps> to see, but all that he could see. But all that he could see, what did he see? Was the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. Oh, and then he got stuck up in a tree. Granny Jean didn't read that part right. The other side of the mountain, and he got stuck up in a tree. Oh dear, little baby bear. Oh dear, how are we gonna get him down? 
Well, the hare hopped over the mountain, the hare hopped over the mountain, the hare hopped over the mountain to see what he could see, to see what he bear could see, to see what bear could see. And what did bear see? Well, on the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, she helped to set Bear free. Look at that, she got a big pole with all the animals to help her and Bear climbed down. What a, what a nice friend that is. Oh, the fox danced over the mountain, the fox danced over the mountain, the fox danced over the mountain to see where hair could be, to see where hair could be, to see where hair could be. On the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, he made them a cups of tea. <laughs> oh, that is some fun. That's fun. <clears throat> oh, oh, the wolf ran over the mountain, the wolf ran over the mountain, the wolf ran over the mountain to see where fox could be, to see where fox could be to see where a fox could be. Uh-oh. On the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, they splashed around with glee. Oh, they're all playing in the water. <laughs> Look at that. <clears throat> oh, the owl flew over the mountain, the owl flew over the mountain, the flower owl flew over the mountain, to see where wolf could be, to see where wolf could be, to see where wolf could be. Ah, and on the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, they had a jamboree. Yippee! That's like a party. Yeah, look at that, playing music and dancing. <clears throat> ah. I crept over the mountain, I crept over the mountain, I crept over the mountain to see where they could be, to see where they could be, to see where they could be, and where were they? Aha! On the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, all snuggled up with me. Yeah, they were all his toys. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't very dangerous, right? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> well, look what I have here. This is a bird. What kind of a bird? He's a water bird and he's called a duck, right? He's a duck. <clears throat> I'm a yellow-billed duck. Oh, and then this is a poem by Br Jack Prolutsky. <clears throat> I'm a yellow-billed duck with a black feathered back. And I waddle, 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 and I quack, quack, quack. I dabble for my dinner with a swish, swish, swish. And I gobble, gobble, gobble all I wish, wish, wish. Yeah, there's a duck. I'm a yellow-billed duck with a black feathered back, and I waddle, 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 and I quack, quack, quack. I dabble for my dinner with a swish, 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 and I gobble, 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 all I wish, wish, wish. You ever seen ducks in the water? They go, broop, and they turn up, and all you see the little fannies, huh? Well, that's what they're doing. They're collecting their supper. That's what they're doing. <clears throat> well, here's a little turtle. I have a little turtle that I keep in a box. It swims in the water. Can you do this with me? Come on. Come on, nannies and mommies help. I climb on the rocks. They snap at a mosquito. They snap at a flea. They snap at a minnow. And they snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. What's a minnow? Remember we said last week, what was a minnow? A minnow is a little fish that swims in the brooks. Yeah. I have a little turtle that I keep in a box. It swims in the water and it climbs on the rocks. It snapped at a mosquito and it snapped at a flea. 
It snapped at a minnow and it snapped at me. It caught the mosquito and it caught the flea. It caught the minnow, but it didn't catch me. No, sir. No, sir. I know how to avoid it. Well, I had a big sister. Yeah, she was older than I was. She could do everything before I could. She could ride a bike before I could. She went to school before I could. But a little while ago, she made me this necklace. So big sisters and big brothers are kind of nice to have. Yeah. So here is a story about Titch. He's the littlest. He's the littlest in the family <clears throat> by Pat Hutchins. Well, let's see what Titch is up to. And there's Titch's mom's clothesline. Titch was a little. Well, he doesn't look very happy about that, does he? <clears throat> He doesn't look like he's very happy. His sister Mary was a bit bigger. And his brother Pete was a lot bigger. I guess he did not like being the littlest, did he? No. Pete had a great big bicycle. <laughs> Mary had a big bike, too. Look at that. They could go fast. They could go far. And Titch had a little tricycle. Wait for me. Oh, goodbye. We can't wait for you. You're too slow. Pete <clears throat> had a kite that really flew above the trees. Oh. Mary had a kite that flew high above the house. of the houses, rather. And Titch had a pinwheel that he held in his hand. Well, well. He had a big drum. Wow, it made a lot of noise. Mary had a trumpet. Oh, she had to practice a lot to learn how to play with that, too, right? And Titch had a little wooden whistle. Not much. Pete had a big saw. Mary had a big hammer. Titch was too young, too little to handle that. And Titch had held the nails. Well, he's not very happy about that. Pete had a big spade. Look at that. He's digging the ground with a spade. Mary had a flat, a fat flower pot. That is a big one, right? But Titch had the seed. Look at that. He had a little tiny seed in his hand. He wasn't too little for that, was he? And Titch's seed grew. and grew and grew. Oh, is he proud? Is he proud, huh? Oh my goodness. So there are lots of things that you can do even though you are young and little still, right? Yes. <clears throat> Well, let's see. Now here is a baby, right? A caterpillar is a baby, right? Can you get out a caterpillar? Pretend one finger is a caterpillar. One little caterpillar crawled upon my shoe. Can you put it on your shoe? Along came another one and now I have two. Two little caterpillars crawled up to my knee. Can you do that? Along came another one, and now I have three, three little caterpillars crawled across the floor. Along came another one, and now I have four, <clears throat> four.
Four little caterpillars, watch them crawl away. They'll all come back as butterflies one fine day. Yeah, when they're big and when they're adults, they're, they are butterflies, right? They're not caterpillars anymore when they're all grown up. No. <clears throat> you do that with me now, come on. One little caterpillar crawled upon my shoe. Along came another one and now I have two. Two little caterpillars crawled up to my knee. Where's your knee? Along came another one and now I have three. Three little caterpillars crawled across the floor. Along came another one and now I have four. Four little caterpillars watch them crawl away. All come back as butterflies one fine day. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> well, let's see. <clears throat> this is a country. This is out in the country. <clears throat> let's go to the city. <clears throat> and actually, a long time ago, <clears throat> the locks on people's houses were looked like that. This house had locks like that too. And when we first moved in here many years ago, we never bothered to lock our door. We didn't we didn't have to. Now we do. <coughs> we little winky runs through the town. Upstairs, downstairs, in his nightgown, rapping on the window. Falling through the locks, are the children all in bed? For now, it's eight o'clock. <clears throat> Can you do that with me? Come on. Wee little Winky runs through the town. Upstairs, downstairs, in his nightgown. Rapping on the windows. Falling through the locks. Are the children all in bed? For now, it's eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Well, good night, little bunny. Good night, Mr. Owl. And good night to our little duck. It's time to say goodbye. And bye bye to our pretty butterfly. And bye bye to our caterpillar, too. And bye bye to Granny Jean. It's time to say goodbye. And bye bye to all my friends. And bye bye to Mr. Turtle. See you next week. Bye bye.